What happened to Christine Keeler after the Perfumo scandal? How former model's life remained cursed by sex. She was propelled into the global spotlight at the age of just 19. Christine Keeler, whose affair with Tory cabinet minister John Perfumo rocked British politics to its core, has died aged 75. She was propelled into the spotlight at the age of 19, when she had an affair with both the Secretary of State for War and a Russian diplomat at the height of the Cold War. Born in Uxbridge, Middlesex, Ms. Keeler who died away on Monday night after suffering from a lung condition for several months was a cabaret dancer in Soho, London, when she met Stephen Ward, an osteopath, artist, and man about town. He introduced her to a party scene attended by aristocrats and VIPs. Through him she met Perfumo, 46, and the Russian military attaché Yevgeny Ivanov in 1961, having affairs with both men. In her book Truth at Last, published in 2001 and updated in 2012 as Secrets and Lies, Ms. Keeler wrote, My life has been cursed by sex I didn't particularly want. John Perfumo was all over me and there wasn't much I could do about it. He was a much older man, not someone I wanted to be with, it just happened John had power too and that was part of it for me. The affairs came to light in 1963, after Ms. Keeler had a row with another lover, Johnny Edgecombe, in which police were called. Perfumo, married to actress Valerie Hobson, told the Commons there was no impropriety, amid fears of a Cold War security leak. But he was forced to admit lying after more newspaper stories emerged, and resigned. Before the year was out, Tory Prime Minister Harold Macmillan quit and was replaced by Sir Alec Douglas Home, who lost the general election. Perfumo suffered scandal without reply. He died after a stroke in 2006. Ward was arrested and put on trial accused of pimping Keeler and her teenage pal Mandy Rice Davies. They always denied being prostitutes. Ward overdosed days later. Describing Ms. Keeler in a 2013 documentary, Ms. Rice Davies, who died the following year, said, She was a free spirit and I'd never met anybody like Christine before. But the pair did not remain friends after the scandal, and in Secrets and Lies Ms. Keeler wrote, I thought she was a true tart. She reveled in her notoriety. As well as two books, she sold her story to newspapers all over the world. Ms. Keeler said of Ward, he's been portrayed as an immoral rascal. In reality, Stephen Ward was a spymaster who befriended hosts of prominent and powerful people in the British government, aristocracy, and even the royal family. With associates, he lured many of them into compromising situations. And she wrote of being photographed by Lewis Morley, straddling a chair, I am always asked if I wore knickers. I certainly did, but it had been a battle to keep them on. Hinting at sadness, she also wrote, Ever since the Perfumo affair, I have never known if a man was capable of loving me for me and not for being Christine Keeler. I've survived and possibly I should not hope for more than that. In 2013, she was snapped in public for the first time in seven years, in what would also be the last public photographs of the former showgirl caught up in a scandal that shocked the establishment to its core. She went to ground in recent years and was said to be living in sheltered accommodation in South London. Yesterday her son Seymour Platt, 46, who lives in Ireland, said he had last seen his mother a week before. Her death at the Princess Royal University Hospital in Farnborough, Hants. 
she had suffered from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. He added, there was a lot of good around Chris's rather tragic life, because there was a family around her that loved her. I think what happened to her back in the day was quite damaging. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe World News Channel. Goodbye and see you again.